after we've got our horse nice and balanced on the ground and we've worked on the lateral flexion and getting the turns nice, getting the transitions nice, we come up here and do it in the saddle. Now when you, um, if you can make sure, I, I know you will be pretty keen to get up and do the ridden stuff because that's what it's all about, having good ridden impulsion, but do uh, get that ground stuff going nice, the, the better you get that, the the more, you stack the odds in your favour, okay, so you know, the, the more chance of success you'll have when you come up to this riding section, okay? Now some horses, they'll get a bit claustrophobic, they'll be totally different to when, you, when they're on the ground to when they're ridden, and, and that's, that does happen. But stack the odds in your favour, okay? And do some groundwork first. Okay, we're up here today, this is Major, we're on Major, and we've got a, a bridle on him. I'm going to do this in a bridle. Now, if your horse is still a little bit stiff and, and the groundwork, you know, he pulls a little bit on the lead rope and things like that, um, then you may want to ride in a hackamore. Now, uh, a quantum savvy hackamore is like a halter with reins, okay, so it has no, no bit. And um, then, you know, then if you have to use your rein to get some flex on him for safety's sake, um, you won't be hurting his mouth or anything like that because they can't concentrate if they're in pain, a bit like us really. So if you pull on that mouth, you know, if he gets scared, gets all stiff, and you pull on that mouth when, when they've got a bridle in there and it hurts them, it's going to make, make it worse. Okay, so if your groundwork's still a little bit, um, a little bit heavy, then, then ride in a hackamore, do these exercises in a hackamore first, get them nice and soft, then come to a bridle if you want to. Some people um, would rather not use a bit at all, and if that's, um, if that's your choice, you can do that as well. Um, I feel it's best to go in what what the horse goes best in, really. Okay, so um, bridle or hackamore, it's up to you. Either way, we want our horse nice and soft and having good impulsion. So first up, we're going to do our rein positions. So lateral flex. Come here, mate. Okay. Hind quarter yield. Now this is an indirect rein we call this, so we just... Move the hind a little bit. Make sure these work, okay? In the front, make sure that front comes across, okay? So when you ask this to step across and you open out in the direction you want to go, make sure that that front end really comes across. Now some of your ho some horses, you know, you, you, you ask to do this and all they do is just sort of walk forward and do a little turn like that. And what that means is they're not using their hind quarter. Now that's going to affect your impulsion big time. So if you've got a horse like that, get their weight back a little bit and then ask them over. Okay, I'll do that again so you can see. Back a little bit, there, and then when you feel it's the time to step, ask them over. Okay, so just as that, in this case, it, just as he's going backwards and that front left foot goes to lift off the ground and you offer it out to the left, he'll, and you say, why don't you put that down over there? He'll say, oh, that's easy, I'll do that. Okay, but if you ask him to do it when, he's, when it's heavy on the ground, it's going to be harder. So if you can get a little feel for that, get a feel for getting the weight back and then over, will really help lighten up your horse's four-quarter steering. Okay, four-quarter steering is real important because it means they're using their hind quarter. That's what we're after. If they're using their hind, they're going to be lifting through the back and that's what we're trying to strengthen and get our horse using a lot more. Okay, so once you've done your rein positions, we're going to do like we did on the ground. We did a little short range sideways when we first started up on the ground. So we're going to try, uh, not try that, we're going to do this. We're going to do a sideways around that marker. Now this marker, I'd like you to think of this centre marker. I'd better point out a little pattern that we've got here today. So we've got a centre marker, and then we've got five, uh, four barrels on the outside on each corner of a square. And it's like a five on a dice. We call this our Southern Cross. We use this pattern a lot in Quantum Savvy for our impulsion programs and our strength, horse strengthening programs. So it's a great little pattern, and you can do a lot of things in that one pattern. Okay, so this um, this center marker has a imagine it has a personal space. Imagine it's a person actually, even better. So try not to stand over the top of it when you when you're doing your sideways or when you're doing your stops. Because if you teach it to stand over the top of things like that, probability is it'll stand over the top of people as well. And I find that horses that stand over the top of people tend to be the ones that push on the reins as well. 
So we don't want that. So sideways around your centre marker, to your left and right. Now when you're doing your sideways, make sure to have this, this side of open, so the direction you're going to is nice and open, and the direction you're going from is closed, so this leg can come on, this leg can stop, the, this, uh, this rein will stop the forward movement if you have to, or it'll become an indirect rein if you need it. There's more info on all these rain positions in our program, in our foundation program, if you would like to know more about that. Okay, looking good. As you go around, try, and, try not to just have your leg jammed on the horse as you're doing your sideways. It's a release that teaches the horse. So each time he steps, just take a little bit of pressure off your leg and release, okay? And that'll get your horse staying a lot calmer and a lot happier in your manoeuvre. So I'll do it this side so you can see. So leg on, off, on, off, on, off, and get in time with the horse. Okay, good job Major. Now we've checked our rein positions and our uh, short range sideways. We're just going to take our horse out here and warm him up on some circles and start to get him laterally flexing. Okay, so just walk him out. I'm going to take them out. Now th this, um, s these corner markers on our southern cross are about 15 metres from the centre marker. Okay, so 15 big steps is, uh, is a nice distance. Now I'm going to do a circle inside those outside markers and that's, that's the size of the circle. It'll be great to start on. Here I'm just going to walk around now some of your horses, if they're really impulsive, you might have to do this at a walk first up, okay, for the, for the uh, long horses. Alright, so I'm on my circle, he's going okay. Now anytime, if you're on this circle and you find your rein position, say you get a horse who looks out of the circle over there and he gets all stiff in the body, they do that sometimes, and you offer a direct rein, which is this open rein to the direction you're going. If he doesn't take that and they pull against that, just do a little bit of indirect, which is the back end, put your leg on and see how he flexed there. Just use that to get him back on the circle. So you use your back end steering, your indirect rein, to soften your horse back on the circle and then release. Remember to release. When they're on this circle, Give them lots of release, lots of comfort, because you want them happy and, and comfortable on this circle. So try not to be up here hanging on the reins or sitting forward and all that sort of stuff. Your rhythm is real important when you ride the horse. Try and be in time with the horse. Give them a loose rein when you're doing this impulsion training here. Okay? Alright, you can do that at a walk. Just walk in a circle. Get that going left and right. Here I'm going to do. A, I'm going to spiral in and come to a sideways to a stop. So here I'm using my inside rein. Got my inside leg on, and I'm going a little bit sideways before I get to the marker. Here I'm at the marker, sideways to a stop. Okay. And that, what that's going to do is it's going to teach the horse to curve around and get his hind underneath him, lift through the back while he's going forward. That's impulsion. Okay, we're going to go back out the other way. Might start this side, just for fun. Now, you know, when you're, when you're starting like that, if, you, if you're going out to ride out on the marker again, then, you know, just sneak in a rein position, get a little bit of practice in there. Don't just sort of walk off and waste the opportunity of having a, you know, practicing a rein position. So, you know, I like to do four quarter yields or sideways when I, when I go out to do my next task. Anything that causes a horse to have to use his hind. Okay, here we're coming in again. Flexing. Really getting those shoulders across and that hind across. Oop. And sideways to a stop. Good boy. Okay. Get that good at a walk. Just get this front across. Good. And then we'll do it at a trot. Now for those of you with short horses, that's short flight distance, not how tall they are. <laughs> when you do your departure from the centre there, make sure they give you that trot straight off, okay? Don't let them dawdle along. Otherwise it'll become a habit. Okay, here we're at a trot. 
just getting him nice and warm. When he's nice, when he's going nice, that's when I'm going to bring him in. If he's all over the place, I'm not going to bring him in until he's nice. Here he's feeling pretty good. So inside leg, lifting my inside rein, keeping the rhythm sideways to a stop. Come over here so we can see you guys. Now when you're coming in on that, this is where this rein position is going to be real important. You'll find some horses will just, they'll come in and they'll just sort of dive on the front, okay, as you're coming in. And that, what that probably means is you're going to have to do get the shoulders a bit looser and the way to do that is to make sure you have your rein position in the right spot okay so if you've got it too far back it'll be all hind quarter if you want the shoulders to loosen up a bit more you're going to have to push that hand forward a bit more to get that uh, those shoulders a bit looser okay like that there so if it's too far back they'll do this when they come off the circle and you're going to need to push your hand forward a little bit more and you might need to focus it, focus up and, and keep an eye on where you're going. Sometimes we tend to look down a bit, and again, that'll load up the front. Okay, so I'll do that again for you. Which way? This way. This is balancing our horse up. We need to balance them, get them all balanced up before we go speeding them up. There he's travelling good, so I'm gonna oh, I'll wait till I come around a little bit more so you guys can see. Okay, here. Here I'm reached down my inside rein, my inside legs on, lifting my rein. I'm trying to keep that trot into my sideways to the stop. Looks easy, doesn't it? Okay. Try and get that nice. I'll just um I'll show you. I'll show you what not to do. So that there was a nice balanced stop. He came in beautiful. Come back on this other side. If you do too much hind quarter, what'll happen is they'll come in and, and go on the front end a little bit too much. Okay, so here, if you do this, He sort of tripped a bit there. Okay, so a little bit too much hind quarter, loading up the front too much into the stop. Sorry, mate. Okay, so you'll need to make sure that you get that that little bit of sideways in there. Okay, got it. All right. Now I've done the sideways to the to a stop uh, at the trot. Now, if your horse is up for it, you can do that at a canter also, but do get that really good at a, at a trot first, okay? Trot is great because the horse's um, balance is 50-50 when he's in the trot, okay? When he's in the canter, it's on the hind a little bit more, but in the trot, he has to work and flex a lot more. I really like to, to get my horses um, really trotting into that stop. Now, if you've got a short horse who's lacking a bit of go, then it's real important to come around here in the trot and keep really keep that trot rhythm right to the last step right to where you finish and that's going to help teach him to pick himself up and get reward at the same time so he gets reward for picking himself up as he goes okay now you can do that at a canter also and i'll just do this at a canter for you so you can have a look now when we do it at a canter you'll need to come down to a trot for the sideways in because if you stayed in a canter you'd get a, a fly lead change and he'd actually flex the other way. All right. So we're in our canter. Now when you're in your canter, try and give him a loose rein and stay in time. In time, we're a bit slippery out here today. Stay in time with your horse. Try and keep that rhythm, okay? Right, here we go. Trot. Boom, 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 boom. I'll come right around to a stop. Now that last little bit I'd finished and he just walked a little bit more, that's okay because I'd quit when he was trotting. But I'd like to do that again, just get a little bit smoother. So I'll move my forequarter over just to practice a rein position. And we'll do this on the other side. Try not to slip over. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Keep this impulsion. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oh, that's a good one. Bless you. That was a nice one. I had a nice trot rhythm to the stop. Okay, so if for those of you who have got a horse, maybe runs off a little bit at the canter. Um, do this one before he runs off. If you, you know, even if you only get one or two canter strides in, then bring him in sideways to a stop and get to where you can build that to you know four or five strides or you know two or three laps. Try not to do any more than about four laps at this stage. Um, of you know, if your horse is doing four laps, he can do nice four nice laps. Then that's plenty. You don't want to be just out here running laps. Um, just for the sake of it. What we're doing here is balancing our horse up. 